Hi, in this short tutorial I'm just going to show you how to do some very basic things with databases. So within your control panel click on the databases section. Now as you can see I already have one database uh, on the system so let's cre create a new one. From the drop-down menu, you need to choose the type of database. You have a choice of four. MSSQL 2005, MySQL, which is actually MySQL 4, Postgres SQL, and MySQL 5. So let's go with MySQL 5. So we'll put in a name for that database. And if I click on this thing here, the Allow Access from External Hosts, that means I'll be able to connect to it from my desktop computer or from somewhere else. Put create a username and then you can either choose your own password or get the system to help choose one for you. So we'll get the system to do it for us. And here's the password. Now you'll need to keep a record of that because it isn't displayed in the control panel. And then you click on finish. So as you can see, we now have our new database, which is currently in the process of being created. Now, if you want to configure a script, uh, such as WordPress or Joomla or any other script like that, to use your new database, you need certain details. Database name, obviously. And you'll also need to know the, um, the host names. So if, we're, if you want to access it just from within our own network, then you can use the internal host name. If you wanted to access it from outside, you'd need the external host name. And if you click on the users, we have our existing user, but you can create other ones. Now, for the external hosts, it's not open to every single IP address in the world. So you go into the access hosts, and then you can add a new IP. So let's say we wanted to add an IP 192.168.0.1, which of course wouldn't really work but let's just use that just for demonstration purposes. So now that IP address, which you shouldn't use, would have access to the database externally. So then we go back to our databases. Now we click here. And you can also see here there's a database manager which is basically PHP my admin, because the database we created was MySQL. So you can use that to conduct basic administration of your database. Of course, if you have any queries, just let us know.